Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Thimbleweed Park. And I don't know if you recall, but I actually call this game Twimbleweed Park. And that's actually <laughs> a bit of a funny story. Howdy! I'm the okay, Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I can't hear what the Sheriff has to say I don't remember calling the Federinos. Eh, that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Cut the Mayberry crap. We're yeah, taking Yeah, let's go in hard case. on this guy. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. Huh? Everything is a There Reno. is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. No, no. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for <laughs> murder. Okay. That makes no really sense. Nice. Are we authorized to shoot people at Reno's? Corner. Okay, but I actually called the game Thimble, uh, Twimbleweed Park instead of Thimbleweed Park, which it's actually called. And I actually misread it. Ah, oh, okay. I have to open it. But anyway, it doesn't Howdy -hoo. spoil I'm the game. I'm the Thimbleweed <laughs> Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, who? Oh, look at the machines. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain a who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Oh, tell okay. us about the Facetron face 3000. The Facetron <coughs> 3000. Door, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arena? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk a who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Okay. Tell Should us we about the that, Bloodtron uh, 3000. <laughs> the Bloodtron 3000 blood can Tron compare 3, DNA. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. <laughs> Tell us about okay. the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, yeah. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 a who Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas a who's in a pot a who Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno. He adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some <laughs> paperwork to do a who. Oh, what yeah, the hell almost is forgot. that? Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. 
Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Blood Tron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Could we use like the whiskey bottle? Doesn't fit in the slot. Okay. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state of the art camera can alter the angle of the shot. What the hell is that machine? Uh. Everyone can count that in the herd, can't, they? can't you? Primary function. Is to analyze a photograph of the dead body and compare it with an official photograph identification of the victim. The face drawn three thousand trademark requires official identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Some in accident. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. I would like to say that we should go to the hotel and try to find some evidence. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, yeah, sir, Reno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Reno's from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Reno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, <laughs> but we're as different as peas Reno's in a pot Reno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Oh my god. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? <laughs> yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving <laughs> okay, on. Okay, that feels really Right, uh, sorry, Reno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrest Tron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. <laughs> Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, a Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up. Wasn't that the guy that the we hero, talked about Thimbleweed County. at the We'll start talk of the more game. about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk yeah. to the rest of the weirdos <clears throat> that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. <laughs> If we follow agency <laughs> questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Okay. 
I want to get to the hotel of the victim. Of the victim. Okay, Pigeon Brothers again. It's a bank. Diner. Isn't there a hotel anywhere? Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Okay. Don't think that there is a hotel here. <clears throat> Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Leonard. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. <laughs> I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. I'm going to look around your store. It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. Need an I'm sorry card? We have a great selection. It's a video camera. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dudette. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. Okay. Move it, Trump. Oh yeah, B Street. Blow out puppy sale. Cakes, blah 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 blah. Okay. Feds out now. Okay, they don't want us here. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. <laughs> but one does okay. hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Okay. So if you aren't turning tricks, what are you doing dressed like that? If you must know, I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive so we can go to the will reading. And FYI, grief is no excuse to look like garbage. 
Then what's your excuse? <laughs> Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Pirate. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers. But I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Okay, so we are playing like this girl then. Okay, this is... Not the smallest house I ever seen. I have no idea where to go. Ouch! No pinching. Find the deal job. Check the mailbox. Escape from Thimbleweed Park. Where am I? Okay. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that okay. yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. <laughs> we make pillows. What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right. But um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it. No, no. Doesn't the no. one in the suit it's looks like an elderly factory. version of the sheriff? Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers, take a chill pill. You started the Pillow Factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8mm point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Okay, let's try another door. Yeah. Mailatron. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever.
You have to get to the computer, okay? Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a... I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. <laughs> it's oh, connecting. Are you old enough to recognize these sounds? I am. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus I will mucus never forget phlegm. my first 50k, <laughs> 56k modem. Job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll okay. get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Oh. I have... I don't know. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. I have no knowledge of programming whatsoever, apart from rapid programming in robots, but I will say all of the above. We can Very guess ambitious. Right. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Oh, shit. Okay, first question. This is an easy one. Next question. Also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Don't Got ask it. Me Exclusive <laughs> ore. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming oh, test. We didn't have to do Yay! shit. I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Nice printer. Should we get the door? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. <laughs> Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Okay. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. Okay, do we remember where Uncle Chuck's room is? isn't it? Pretty dark in here. It's the one beside it. Give a letter to Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Okay. I did said we should dial in with modem and fill out job application. I think that we already did this. Yay! 
Yay! I answered all the mucus <laughs> questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. There! The blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm. I printed my job application, but the page is still blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Okay. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's, it's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. <laughs> uh. I'll have plenty of time to sleep once I get a job as a game designer. Okay, so we need to find printer ink. Okay, that didn't do as good. Just have to keep going. <laughs> okay. Does my uncle have printer ink? Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores! How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all. Hello, my favorite niece! Du, 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 du. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. There we have an ink bottle. Let's run back to the room and try to print out our job application. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. There! The blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. <laughs> oh, sorry. I always like to watch this part. <laughs> already done. Pick up. Okay, mail it. So I think that we should head out to town, shouldn't we? <laughs> du -du -du. Or can we mail it? Digging! Yeah, you are digging. How exciting! I hope I get the job! Okay, five days later. <laughs> Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you! Oh! Good luck! See ya! Dig in! Dig in! I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Okay. Digging in the front green! Mm. 
now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Yes. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, do but it. if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. I but don't think... first... Okay. Okay, let's go tell Uncle Chuck and see what he has to say about it. I don't think that he will be happy at all. To be honest, I think that he will be really, really upset about this. But that will be a question for next week. Uh, so we are leaving the game here. And I want to thank you so much for watching the gameplay. And next week we will tell Uncle Chuck.